Lost Ones, last week we started our Finnish series with the cheapest cruise in the world. If you haven't seen that video, go check out last week. This week we head for the gorgeous capital of Helsinki to try out all the traditional Finnish food and learn the Helsinki rules. Let's go. Good morning guys from Helsinki, Finland. I'm Abby, this is Ryan, and you are watching Lost Among Locals. And Finland is cold, y'all, but it is glorious and beautiful. And today, we are taking you on a food tour of all the traditional foods that they have here in Finland. Mm. So, and we got up super early this morning because, I don't know, jet lag or messed Absolutely. up or I, I don't know, something. So we're having second breakfast now, like little hobbits. And uh, let's go see if we can find this awesome pie thing that I'll tell you more about in a minute. Hey babes, there's a city swimming pool. You wanna go swimming? No, absolutely not. Oh, come on. Yeah, so this morning we started off going to Vana Kapahali, I think that's how we say it. And it is a historic food market. It's got a bunch of places, little stalls. You can buy a bunch of different like souvenirs, but there's also a little food star stalls here where you can get regular stuff. It's just an old historic market. It's in this really kind of cool rustic building. So we're just going to explore. Maybe some old spice, <laughs> but not much. It's not a lot of spices. It's really, really simple. It's fresh and it's seasonal. So you eat what's in season and you enjoy the flavor of it. That's the rule. Or so I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our first tasty treat of the day is called Carillion Pie. And it's basically a rye bread. And it's like stuffed with a thick rice porridge and it has an egg, like boiled egg and butter paste on the top. Um, and in some cafes it gets really fancy and it has like reindeer meat or salmon on it. This one is just like the basic. And I was reading this morning, there's this girl online, I'll have to look it up and tell you her name, I can't remember. But she's from Finland and she has like a food blog. Um, and she was basically saying these are sold around the block and it's one of the favorite treats for Finland. So you can basically get them at from anywhere from a fancy cafe to a gas station like that. Mm. Okay, that's really good. It's not as weird as it sounds. There's not like rice and porridge inside here. It's like baked into almost a I don't know, doughy kind of, it's tasty. All right, so other thing, we had to get soup, and salmon soup, and I think it's called lohi keto, because the little pause in there, <laughs> I'm sure I butchered that. But it's a salmon soup made of like dill, it's got some potatoes in it, and big chunks of course of salmon, and some vegetables put in, so let's see how this is. Looks buttery and yummy. It's buttery and, mm. It does have a really good flavor to it. Um, like the, the salmon didn't overpower, so it's not too fishy. It's good. Is it creamy? It's, no. It's almost got. It's almost like a really thin potato soup fish type taste oh. to it. So this place that I can't pronounce is super adorable. It's right next to the harbor. The food was delicious. 
I don't even like fish, and I love that salmon soup. Like, I did not plan on liking that at all. I was just going to, like, give it a complimentary taste, but I loved it, and I ate more than my share of bowls, so that was delightful. Um, but anyway, this place is super cute. These old wooden stalls are adorable. There's there's also grocery shopping here too. So there's a lot of fresh fish, a lot of like kind of finished delicacies. You can tell it's like you come here to get that special paste, you know, like um, what I don't know what it is, but and there's a lot of things you can tell are like kind of delicacy things that are in here. Um, you can buy a jar of 100% bear meat. If you would like to do that, you can do that, an elk and ranger too. Um, so that looked tasty. <laughs> I've never eaten bear meat, maybe we should try it. Anywho, it's right next to the harbor. It's really, really adorable. And the soup was 10 out of 10. super adorable thing today we have realized that the children of Helsinki just run around on a sled or sledge like we passed a preschool this morning and at first I thought the lady was just like pulling her child around on a sled and then I realized it was like walk time like she was taking all the children out to walk with their toddlers and so instead of a wagon here you just get pulled in a sled which I think is awesome Helsinki rule number one, beware looking up at the pretty things. You must watch your feet at all times. Helsinki rule number two, don't walk too close to the road or you'll have a bush slush splash on you. Helsinki rule number three. Three. Shh, be quiet. You know what else is funny about Helsinki? Everybody actually obeys those walk and don't walk signs when they cross the street. Helsinki rule number four, obey the rules. All right y'all, after a killer nap, we are ready to eat again. And may I just say, props to you Finnish people because it takes me like 25 minutes to get dressed to go outside. I don't know what it is about a scarf on here. I'm gonna hurt my neck because I, I feel like I have like a neck brace on. I, I don't know why, it doesn't really impede anything, but I'm like, every time I go look, I'm like, I turn my whole body. Okay, so our dinner place for tonight has mixed reviews. <laughs> We've moved way out of the tourist area, somewhere between like downtown Helsinki by the port and the airport. Um, and this place has been here for a long time, like since the 70s, but it is like the only place that serves traditional Finnish food um, that's anywhere near us. So some people say it's wonderful, other people say it's like meat out of a can. I don't really know, so we're gonna try it. So what's on our list tonight is to find the sauteed reindeer and this fish dish that's like bacon wrapped fish and then it's like baked inside of a rye bread. We don't think they have that here. We think the only thing they have is the reindeer. So, but like I said, we're sort of limited on options in this area. So we're gonna do the best we can. Surely we'll find something else in there that's traditional. I know they have the meatballs. Okay, this place is really cute. It's like an old timey bar kind of feel. Like it has like the gilded mirrors and the old vintage lanterns and stuff. But there are a lot of Finnish people eating in here, so that's a good sign. Hopefully it's tasty. 
So I got these sauteed reindeer, and we told my mother-in-law this, and she says, you're going to be on Santa's naughty list. <laughs> How is it? You see, mashed potatoes, a little bit of that. Mashed potatoes are really good. <laughs> the reindeer? Oh, there it is. It's, not, it's, it's good. It's, it's really it's kind of salty. It's got a good flavor to it. It's the verdict. It's good. Yeah, I had no problem with that. It's time for Finland facts. Now, I got these facts from the Encyclopedia Britannica website and from some bloggers. I did try to pick bloggers that were Finnish. So, if these facts are whacked facts, don't blame me. Fact number one. Finland is the highest consumer of coffee per capita, consuming more than 12 kilograms per person per year. That's like 25 pounds, yo. That's a lot of coffee. And also 80% of the population drinks coffee, which is a lot. I like it. Fact me fact number two. There's also the highest number of heavy, heavy metal bands in the world per capita in Finland, which seems like a weird fact to coexist with being the happiest people in the world, which is fact number three. According to the Worldwide 2021 Happiness Report, for the fourth year in a row, Finland has the happiest citizens. Way to go, Finland government. Good job. And way to go Finnish people for just being happy and content. We like it. It is a ra Helsinki is the capital of Finland. It is a rather young capital founded in 1550. And the oldest city in Finland is Turku. Founded in 1229. And it means market. Hmm. Finland was part of Sweden until 1809. And then it was Russia's for a little bit. And then declared independence in 1917. So pretty young by European standards and such. And you can tell in Helsinki it's not an old looking city. Like there's some, some old things, but definitely not like parts of Europe. The language is not like other Scandinavian countries. It is most closely akin to Hungarian. They also speak English and Swedish. They're <laughs> It's called the Land of a Thousand Lakes, but actually there's 187,888 lakes in Finland. That's a lot of lakes. And the country is 74% forested. Finns don't call it Finland. They call it Suomi. Apparently it means Land of the Finns in Finnish. Coldest temperature in Finnish... The coldest temperature in Finland ever recorded was negative 60.7 degrees Fahrenheit in 1999 in the town of Katilla. That's cold, y'all. That's real cold. It is one of the coldest countries on earth, though. And last but not least, Finland has an estimated 2 million saunas. They really like their saunas. They are everywhere, like every hotel, private apartment, people have them in the house. There's even one in the Burger King in Helsinki. There's only 5.3 million people in Finland and there's over 2 million saunas that they know about. There's actually more saunas here than cars. And that's all my facty facts. Get lost! <laughs>